Hi everyone, Glenn here from rewiringtinnitus.com. So today, I'm excited to share another episode of my Ask Me Anything About Tinnitus video series where I answer your most pressing questions about tinnitus. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Glenn Schweitzer and I'm the author of the book Rewiring Tinnitus and the blog of the same name. I also write a monthly tinnitus column at healthyhearing.com. And for the last eight years, I've worked with more than 1,000 tinnitus patients one-on-one -on -one from all over the world as a tinnitus coach, helping people to habituate as quickly as possible to find lasting relief from the ringing in their ears. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering an important question about my tinnitus-focused meditation techniques that I get from new followers all the time. And it's how can focusing on your tinnitus help you to habituate and find relief. So as many of you know, here at Rewiring Tinnitus, I teach a protocol for tinnitus habituation that utilizes meditation techniques where you focus on your tinnitus instead of the breath, a mantra, or the body while you meditate. And for a long time now, I have talked about my, med my techniques exclusively in meditation terminology. But I've started to realize that a more scientifically grounded explanation is also needed to help people fully understand just how powerful focusing on your tinnitus can be in helping you to find relief. And so another way to understand the habituation strategy that I teach here at Rewiring Tinnitus is to think of it as a form of relaxation enhanced graded exposure therapy. Um, but because it's helpful to understand both perspectives, let's start with a quick overview of the meditation based explanation. The type of meditation that I teach, it's a very simple kind of meditation known as concentration meditation or object oriented meditation, which involves concentrated on a single object of attention, a single point of focus, such as the breath. And when your mind wanders and everyone's mind wanders, even experienced meditators, and you, the goal is to simply try to catch the distraction, come back to the breath or the mantra or the body or whatever you're focusing on and begin again. The better you get at this simple mental exercise of catching the distraction and starting over again, the more relaxing it becomes. The basic idea here is that because this type of concentration meditation is such a relaxing mental exercise when you practice it often, and because you can choose to focus on anything you want to when you meditate, there's ultimately nothing magical or special about the breath or a mantra or anything else you might choose to focus on for that matter. So by choosing to focus on the tinnitus instead of the breath, but still achieving the meditative state of calm and relaxation as a direct result of doing so, you're giving your brain and nervous system an entirely new and emotionally positive experience to begin to associate with your tinnitus. And it's an experience that you couldn't have any other way. Until you try something like this, there's only two experiences you can have of tinnitus naturally. There's the experience of being distracted from your tinnitus where you don't hear it at all for some period of time. And then there's the experience of hearing your tinnitus and feeling a negative emotional response. At best, you can hear your tinnitus and have no emotional response. But there's no natural situation where you'll, you'll hear your tinnitus and experience anything even remotely close to what you would consider a positive emotional state. And that's exactly what the rewiring tinnitus meditation approach allows you to experience. So this is more or less how I've always explained my tinnitus focus meditation techniques. But now, to explain this in a more scientifically grounded way, I want to ex introduce the concept of relaxation-enhanced exposure therapy. So instead of thinking of these, med as, uh, these techniques as meditation, it's helpful to think of these techniques as a very specific form of mental exercise. And there's nothing spiritual or religious at all about this kind of mental training. In this case, we are using very specific mental exercises that involve concentrating on tinnitus, exercises which are inherently relaxing and become more and more mentally and physically relaxing, the better you get at doing this and at concentrating, to facilitate a form of relaxation-enhanced graded exposure therapy. So exposure therapy is a well-documented way to help people resolve phobias. And when you're suffering greatly from tinnitus, it's very much as if you developed an incredibly severe phobia to the sound of, of tinnitus. It's helpful to think of it this way. Graded exposure therapy involves slowly exposing a person to more and more of the source of their fear or discomfort in a controlled and safe environment. And through repeated exposure in gradually increasing intensities, you learn to tolerate the sensations or situations that provoke the anxiety and fear response, and the fear response will diminish over time. 
Exposure therapy alone can be highly effective in helping to reduce tinnitus distress. And there are people doing this kind of a work. Uh, but by adding the concentration exercises, which again are deeply relaxing, you can induce a reliable state of calm and relaxation at the same time that you slowly and gradually expose a tinnitus sufferer to more and more of the sound of their tinnitus. And this, this can create a positive emotional and psychological reinforcement that can ultimately lead to much faster habituation and relief. So that's all for me from, for today. Uh, I hope that made sense and was helpful in clarifying just how helpful and important focusing on your tinnitus can be. Uh, if anyone is interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm currently offering free 45-minute consultation Zoom calls to everyone who applies for my tinnitus coaching program. You can apply uh, below with the link in the video description. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.